That demand for testing is growing here in the Bay Area. We've seen long lines at the Raymond James Stadium testing site for most of the week. Now state workers are going to come in and help test 1,000 people a day there. But as 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo shows you, Governor DeSantis wants counties to step up and help with the testing too. Some county leaders are upset with the governor's comments because they say they have not received guidance from the state since the beginning of the pandemic. They tell me they need help now. People are having a hard time getting testing. Pinellas County Chair Pat Gerard says testing sites are overwhelmed while new positive coronavirus cases rise by the hundreds and those getting sick are younger. I had actually talked to the county administrator this morning about asking the governor to put up one of those super sites. We will support the uh, the Pinellas County um, test. A large site could come to Tropicana Field, and Governor Ron DeSantis says they will support its testing needs, but the state still expects counties to do more. They got huge dollars for the CARES Act, so they also have the ability to do some stuff. I think the governor, the governors not just of our state, but of several states have left the local governments to take care of the problem. They sent money, but it's more than a money problem. The CARES Act provided the county with about $170 million, which they've used to support local businesses and those who have lost their jobs. Millions have also gone towards purchasing masks for those who need it. We're not so much worried about running out of money. It's trying to set these things up and get the right personnel in place. USF doctors say more than 5,000 people should be tested a day in Pinellas. So the county needs manpower and guidance from the state to test at a higher rate. The state needs to get on board. While doctors are expecting a huge surge in coronavirus cases in just a few weeks, county leaders are now talking about building a field hospital. Only 20% of ICU beds are available right now in Pinellas County.